Welcome back to the channel guys. I got a quick follow-up video from yesterday's update video on my shark bite issue. Um, wasn't getting any video through the HDMI in on my HDO2s, just getting a blue screen. So uh, I've got some, a new cable here. We're gonna try out today and see if that resolves the issue. Stay tuned. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and you're gonna acquire some knowledge today. So after going through the comments yesterday, uh, several of you responded. A lot of you mentioned that it possibly could be a bad cable, including Carl from DiviMath, um, which is very nice to see that uh, one of the people who is uh, involved with the development or creation of SharkBite reached out. So that definitely says something for the manufacturer and as I said before, um, I was confident that um, Fat Shark would take care of the issue uh, because their customer support is bar none. So that's something that you do always want to take into consideration when you purchase a product. Uh, a lot of our products come from China or are manufactured in China, which is fine, but uh, a lot of them just do not have the support, right? This is a DIY hobby and uh, we had to figure out stuff for ourselves. So when a manufacturer takes it upon themselves uh, to reach out or to go above and beyond, that definitely needs to be noted and uh, should be considered when you're purchasing a product. So I'd highly doubt uh, somebody from DJI would reach out to me personally. So, and we're not a large channel, uh, we are growing, uh, but it definitely says something for Carl to reach out. So anyway, what I did find yesterday, and that's the reason why I didn't post initially, because as a few people mentioned, uh, many HDMI cables are not commonplace, right? We have HDMI cables, but not many HDMI. Now this is not a mini HDMI to mini HDMI, so it's not specifically gonna work with the goggle, so to speak, but it will plug into the receiver and plug into like a television or a monitor. So we're going to connect this up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. looks like it is working through the HDMI of the HDTV with the new cable. So looks like the cable was the problem there. I got a faulty cable there. Hopefully a fat shark will send one out shortly. Uh, let's plug the quad in and see if we get a video signal from the quad. And it looks like we got a working video signal. As you notice, I did uh, get the OSD issue resolved. I swapped the RX and TX pads on the flight controller. So it looks like the OSD elements are showing up. So pretty much we're all set there, just waiting on that cable to get back in the air. All right, summing up, guys. Looks like the uh, cable was the problem there. Um, I'm still waiting on a response back from Fat Shark personally. Uh, I'll get a replacement cable there and then should be good to go. I went ahead and ordered another one on Amazon. I'll go ahead and post the link. Um, it's a nine inch cable. It's not, it does not have a 90 degree inputs on it. So it's probably gonna drop down here from the goggles, but to get me in the air, uh, that should work nicely there. So if you guys are experiencing any issues there with uh, black screens or blue screens, uh, video dropping out, uh, it's possibly going to be the uh, HDMI cable there. So, um, yep, I'm excited we got that fixed. Appreciate to everyone who reached out in the comments. Um, that's why we offer, get feedback, because uh, if we work together, we can get a solution there oftentimes that one of us may miss. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one.